In this clip I want to go over how to set up your scanner for scanning something that has been offset printed. Um, basically using the de-screening feature. I just want to cover that feature make sure everybody understands that. Um, to start off I want to make sure I go to the Go drop down menu. We're going to go to Applications and I'm going to pull up the Epson scan software. For HP scan software, other scanners out there, a lot of those scanners will have those features. Same type of setup. Uh, the particular one we'll use is the Epson scanner. So I'm going to start up the Epson scanner, do a quick preview. Let's see if I already have that. Uh, preview this picture and scan in a cartoon that I use for my publication. Now this is one that we've got the rights to be able to use, we've contacted the printer, you want to make sure you cover those bases. Uh, so the illustrator as well as the magazine has given us the rights and permission to reprint this in our Fireman magazine. So I've got this ready to scan in, I want to cover some of the features. Uh, as I showed in my last clip, this is specific to the Epson scan software, you just want to make sure you're in the professional mode. If you're not in the professional mode, you won't get some of the de-screening features. Also, I've expanded that box to be able to show those features. You do have a, a scroll bar here that you can go through, uh, but typically you just like to expand that so you can see all the different features that are available there. Um, expand that a little bit more and use that scroll option. So I also have mine checked to make sure I'm not using film, working with reflective, scanning something that's been printed before. Uh, as far as color, this will work for grayscale as well as color. We want to keep it in the 24 or 8 bit range because we're going to do some color adjustments later. But those are some options. So, in here, we want to keep the resolution as with any printed piece 300 dpi. We don't need to actually scale this one, but if you would wanted to, you would set the resolution here and scale it at this time. You want to scale here, not in Photoshop later. And then we're going to turn the unsharp mask on and the descreen filter on. Now I've already pre-scanned some of these, so we'll go ahead and look at some uh, that were previously scanned, some with and without these features. But the main reason is we want to look at the descreening feature. Uh, if you collapse that bar, bring up the options for that, you can see that you get magazine, newspaper, fine prints. This particular one happens to be a magazine, not a newspaper. So you want to use the appropriate the appropriate setting for the type of scan that you're working with. Uh, we've got that set. I would hit scan at this time. It's already set in here. I've already pre-scanned these. I've even picked it to put it as a TIFF. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel because I pre-scanned these and close this box as well. So if you look at these, I actually scanned these earlier. These are the two images I've scanned. Um, some ones I prepped to throw on the web page later to load up. But this is the two scans that we were working with. Now I've even gone ahead and opened these in Photoshop, got Photoshop running here. So if we look at the two images, here's the one image, and here's the second one. So this is with no descreening filter, just raw data scanned right in. The test text looks clean and crisp, but you can see this pattern starts to emerge here. This moray, rosette, whatever you want to call it, this pattern comes from the halftone dots. Now if you see in this one, we zoom up, you lose the pattern, but it's not as in focus. It's a little bit blurry. The unsharp mask helped, but the process has blurred the image a little bit. You can see the difference, but basically the blurring of the pixels is how it's removing all that more a pattern okay and just a straight blur in Photoshop won't do the same trick so um, the ones I brought in zoomed up in I can loom, load up on the web page this is the one that has been descreened and this is the one that has not been been descreened uh, you can see that's built into the image no descreening taking place here you can see the little bit of that rosette pattern you zoom in and out may become apparent at different levels or different areas, different sizes. So there is no de-screening and the de-screening. And this will become more apparent as you print this out. On screen, on your computer, you're not going to see as much details, as much damage. 
So you want to use that if you do that. Remember to make sure you get the copyright permission, get all that permission set up before you do that. Um, one thing to work with as you come in and look at this, this image always scans in RGB. So we've got it scanned in RGB. Uh, we're going to take a look at your eyedropper and just check some of these adjustments. Uh, and we're also, let's go up to image, or let's try the filter. I want to show you some of the sharpen features. We can go ahead and apply more of an unsharp mask to this. That you can see before and after. See as we recapture some of that detail. Uh, before and after. Okay, and we can also Command Z that back and forth to toggle back and forth. So we can bring some of that back after it's been descreened. We also, now you don't want to get too carried away with the unsharp mask. You want to use that in limited quantities. That can also be a problem later on for printing. Um, and we can come in and adjustment. Make you let, let's go into do a quick curve. Uh, darken the darks. Brighten some of the whites. Just a really quick adjustment. Once we've got that, I want to take a look at one other thing and show you guys one other thing. If I go to image, mode, and let's switch this to CMYK. Anytime you scan in blacks, you can see in here, if we zoom into this text, you can see there's kind of a red halo, and this black is 77, 67, 65, 85. You can see the percentages coming through there. That's not a straight black. It's actually mixed with 77 yellow or 77 cyan, excuse me, 67 magenta, 65 yellow, so it's not even 100% black. Uh, one way we can fix that is under the image menu. Image, adjustment, and selective color. Okay. So for this particular instance, it actually works fairly well. Uh, we're going to switch that to blacks. We're going to actually work with the blacks, and we can tell it. Take out that cyan. Take out that magenta take out that yellow and just use black and you get quite a different picture as you do that now you may not always want to come to the extremes you can leave some in there but that will make it easier for the printer so you can see that there's a difference here definitely a difference here especially where it's mixing so maybe a little bit more cyan just to get a little bit bluer you can see it's not as rich back in here. And we can do that in an isolated nature. We could actually go in and isolate that. But that's one way that you can take out some of the black. Now that's an extreme example. Uh, you probably wouldn't want to get that, take that much out for something that printed. But now you look at this 24, 20, 22. So it's easier for them to not get that highlight. You still have some other problems. We could go in and select that isolate that color, overlay something with grayscale or, or uh, other techniques to use on that but you do see some of that color coming through so we could isolate things but that's a quick way just to showcase the replacement color once again that was image adjustments or selective color excuse me so that's a good way to do that replace color does something else uh, once again selective color So. Hopefully that helps, shows you a little bit about de-screening, shows you a little bit about color adjustments, but there's some quick tips for you.